When we allow states to trial people, to jail people, he's facing 175 years, by the way, and he's not even allowed to present evidence or arguments that he did something in the public interest. That is an absolute travesty of law. That is no transparency. That provides us no way to hold our governments and our institutions to account. Show trial! Shame yeah. on you! Not a show trial! You shouldn't listen to us when we say it's a show trial, but you should listen to Amnesty International when they say that the proceedings here in London have been like a circus. Yes! Like a circus. What's worse than that is that they were denied access to monitor the trial and had to sneak into the public gallery. Justice must not only be done but be seen to be done. Bravo! Yes! Bravo. Oh, nobody can claim that justice has been done in the UK for Julian Assange when the Amnesty International was barred from observing the proceedings. Egregious! What an affront! What are they afraid of? Here, here. None of the charges have any evidence to substantiate them. That's what they're afraid of. They're afraid of all of you people knowing what this case means for you, for all of us. Yes. It means our right to know the truth about state crimes. Yes. It means anyone publishing, any one of us publishing evidence by the United States government can be sent to prison for life in solitary confinement. Shame on you! And you have no chance to defend yourself by saying that what you did served the public good. Egregious! That's utter tyranny! I'm sorry, but this court cannot uphold the extradition of Julian Assange. It must reject it. If it does not, it is no longer a court of justice. Yes, yeah, yeah, bravo. Yeah, yeah. According to the UN Rapporteur on Torture and Amnesty International, he's been held in solitary confinement for over four years here in London in Balmarsh Prison. He recently suffered a stroke and a letter from hundreds of doctors say that he is likely to die. His life is in peril. Furthermore, it has been reported that the US officials at the highest levels plotted to assassinate him. The CIA that was the reported CIA. by top White House and security intelligence that were concerned, alarmed by this development that Mike Pompeo, former head of the CIA and Secretary of State for the United States, drew up plans to assassinate Julian here in London, on the streets of London. It makes me feel sick. Yes. I'm a New Zealander. To come all the way to the UK, back where I was born. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed of what's going on and I'm terrified. I'm terrified that the United States drew up plans and that apparently, according to top White House officials, went on record to say MI6 promised to do the shooting outside Harrods. Unbelievable, complete disregard for the rule of law. Yes. To assassinate an Australian journalist who hasn't been convicted of any crime. And I'll, I'll continue. Yes. So Amnesty International said extraditing Julian Assange to the United States would violate the pro prohibition against torture. Yes. That's an international law that the United Kingdom has signed to. Therefore, extradition cannot mean that this, this High Court represents justice in any way. It must be rejected. New Zealand MP Goloriz Gardaman from Iran said, this is a threat to press freedom around the world. A statement echoed by every major press freedom group and thus it threatens the foundations of global democracy. The charges criminalise publishing leaked evidence of US state crimes. Yes. Shame on you! That alone oh, should the terrify the all of you. No, we do not terrify. We fight. We yes. have to defend our rights. That's right. And we have to defend Julian Assange and the freedom of the press. That's right. And there is no chance of justice in the US. Why? Well, Julian's legal proceedings were spied on and the Espionage Act prohibits a public interest defence. If extradited to the US, Julian would be detained in conditions that amount to torture. 
This is why he cannot, another reason he cannot be extradited and, and still uphold the rule of law. It violates the principle of non refoulement Justice must be seen in the UK. And Amnesty International said the trial was a circus and a Bari, International Bar Association Human Rights Institute said with this extradition trial we are witnessing a serious undermining of due processes and the rule of law. Shame on you! That is the largest organisation of int lawyers internationally around the world saying this, not some activist on a microphone, I'm reporting to you what the but biggest legal the truth group too. in the world has said. We know the that truth. the proceedings against Julian Assange seriously undermine due process yes. and the rule of law. Yes. What is the rule of law? Magna Carta 1215. Bravo. The state and the monarchy are not above the law. Bravo! Bravo! The greatest, the biggest legalization in the world of Bari, the Human Rights Institute says that the Assange case threatens the rule of law. It undermines the rule of law. We cannot allow that. No! This court cannot uphold that. It must reject the extradition request of the US and free Julian Assange. Bravo! I'll give it back to you. The High Court must hear his appeal. Four eight grounds. They're all valid. First and foremost, his way to a fair trial. Yes! No one in this sober, sincere frame of mind can say that he can get a fair trial when he's not allowed to argue what he published was in the public interest. Yes! That would be the only possible defense for publishing classified documents, wouldn't it? Yes! Yeah. Imagine fighting against a jury in the United States, Eastern District of Virginia, and the judge instructs you, you are not allowed to tell the jury that what you did served the public interest. You're, you can't publish evidence about what you published, even if, even if it was evidence of egregious state crimes like torture at Guantanamo Bay. Not the lower magistrate's court with some rookie judge, Vanessa Barista, no offence, but she was overseen by a judge with a clear conflict of interest. Lady Arbuthnot, her husband is a former UK defence minister, who was involved with the Iraq war that Julian, the documents reveal war crimes. His son, the judge's son, is involved in a company called Dark Trace, which is an anti-whistleblower organisation for corporations who were also implicated with WikiLeaks releases. These are egregious uh, conflicts of interest. She should have accused herself. Instead, she became the supervising judge for the next trial. Julian has been psychologically tortured according to the UN Special Rapporteur on Torture. He must be freed immediately from a maximum security prison. He's a non-violent prisoner at the stage, remand prisoner, not convicted of any crime, not serving any sentence. According to a letter signed by hundreds of doctors, he's likely to die soon if not free. Julian Assange is a hero. Absolutely. Absolutely. He'll be remembered for centuries to come. Absolutely. Whatever decision comes from this court, if humanity can survive not having the rule of law anymore, all of history will remember what an absolute sham and, and an absolute miscarriage of global justice that would be. To jail a foreign journalist and extradite him to the country to assassinate him and not offering him a fair trial. I'm going to stress the fair trial because that's one of the eight grounds the United the Hunters High Court must allow his defence to hear properly at this level. We cannot allow the lower magistrate's court and a rookie judge to decide the most controversial press freedom case in history. Every press freedom group says it threatens global press freedom, which means our right to know and hold state to account. If this is a court of justice, it must hear the appeal of Julian Assange. This is a political case. We must be able to rely on British justice. But we, it must be seen to be done. The case must be heard and monitored. Unlike the substantive trial that they've had, it was not monitored. So, the UN Working Group on Arbitrary Detention said the right of Mr Assange to personal liberty should be restored 
In other words, free Julian Assange, they, the UN put together a panel of five independent legal experts. They spent 12 months reviewing the evidence. They determined in 2016 that he faced a, a perilous threat from the espionage investigation by the US and he must be freed immediately. Thank you. Thank you. Free Julian, now! That was 2016. We're still waiting for the United Kingdom to abide by that ruling by that's the highest legal test internationally. A UN independent panel of legal experts. That's the highest test for international law. And this court is, a, is appearing to have ignored that up till now by rejecting Jonathan Swift, rejecting the appeal. Not even to hear it at this level. Egregious. Shame on you! Shame, Jonathan to be honest. Swift. Sorry. But shame, shame on you! Amnesty International said that certifying Julian Assange's extradition will violate the prohibition against torture. The UN Special Rapporteur Nils Meltzer said this is about preventing a precedent likely to seal the fate of Western democracy. Absolutely. Shame. Absolutely. Shame well said. On Royal Court of Justice. For us, injustice. There has been a petition of 750,000 the largest ever submitted to the Australian Parliament to free their citizen Julian Assange. Bravo! Bravo! The Prime Minister Albanese has said that the proceedings have gone on long enough. This is the Prime Minister of Australia. He's speaking directly to the United Kingdom, our ally, saying that this imprisonment serves no purpose and this has gone long enough. And he shares the frustration of groups, press freedom groups, activists and human rights groups around the world that have had enough. Albanese said enough is enough. And I've had enough. We've all had enough. And Julian Assange has had enough. Julian Assange must be free. And so is his family, his loving family. They're good people. Watch the film Ithaca. You find out for yourself what solid people they are. And Julian, there's no evidence that he has done any wrong, anywhere. Meanwhile, there's hard evidence that what he has published as evidence, hard evidence of state criminality and corruption. Yes, state criminality. Stacked high. Yes. It's all on the internet, for goodness sake. Wikileaks.org. You can look at it yourself with an internet browser. Meanwhile, I challenge any person on this planet to provide any evidence that Julian Assange did anything wrong. Because I've been investigating this case for three years by observing expert analysis. The United States own, the United States Army's own top forensic investigator gave testimony at the trial that there's no way it makes any sense that Julian would have tried to help Chelsea Manning to leak the documents by helping her to crack into a computer system. He said that the, the evidence absolutely doesn't support that at all. I was shocked when I found that out because I thought at least they had a shadow of an a, of a insincere threat uh, accusation that he might have tried to help her to stay anonymous, which would have been, frankly, journalistic integrity to keep a source safe from harm, which she eventually endured. Chelsea Manning eventually endured torture and solitary confinement. And that must never happen to whistleblowers. And Julian wanted to protect, may have wanted to protect the source from that, but actually there's no evidence that he did offer any such thing. And also, that the evidence they tried to present, the US Army's own forensic top investigator said, is not evidence of that at all. They have nothing on him. Not a shred. Not a shred of evidence that Julian Assange has done anything wrong at all. Not a shred. Now, I didn't say he did or didn't do anything wrong. I just said nobody has coughed up any evidence that he has. Meanwhile, you can literally Google all the evidence that he published evidence of of state crimes and criminality. So, we must not be naive. That is why we need press freedom. Yep. Yes. 
And we must listen when every major press freedom group in the world and every major editor of every major newspaper in the world, New York Times, The Guardian, El Pai, The Spiegel, Washington Post, USA Today, they've all said, these are the United States editors, they've all said that prosecution of Assange, the charges against him, criminalise common journalistic activity that is vital to protecting the public interest. They have all made statements along those lines. In fact, they even wrote a letter directly to Joe Biden to ask him, what? To drop the charges against Julian Assange and for him to be released? Yes! Free Free Julian Julian Assange! Assange. Free Julian Assange! Assange.